Voices of the Data Sphere arguably attempts to offer two things to a Numenera game. One, an expansion and refinement of the vocabulary used to describe an aspect of the Ninth World that has been present since its inception, and two, a new set of rules and concepts that allow one to take a campaign into a new space, one the book frames as a paradigm shift in perspective. This supplement may not be to everyone's liking, as the data sphere from its first introduction in Numenera's original core rulebook back in 2013 often functioned as a condiment of sorts for the Ninth World's elaborate and weird buffet of options. It could easily flavor scenarios and provide itself as a narrative glue to stitch together different themes and help offer somewhat of a unique science fiction spin or twist. It is likely that many home-run Numenera games developed their own unique place, vocabulary, and perhaps rules for the data sphere. Presenting a published book that defines this space as a result may or may not conflict with the way some Numenera players have already been using the existing concept. Those who have made heavy use of the data sphere will either approach this book having to consider what they need to change in their own game, while others will find the expanded vocabulary and new rules as ways to include more of the data sphere and expand their game in new ways. Voices of the Data Sphere is a pretty thorough dive into a new set of vocabulary, rules, and concepts that can easily slot into the eclectic and somewhat random nature of Numenera's setting, while still offering a great degree of versatility when it comes to how a game can make use of this material. Beyond new terminology and fleshed out environments, the book offers a potentially limitless expansion given the breadth of options and versatility of these new rules and concepts. Voices of the Data Sphere furthers Numenera's potential to suit different tastes within the broader category of science fiction and science fantasy, and it's proving that the game itself is a space that allows players and GMs to explore different interests within the genres, expanding on the promise originally found in Numenera's core rulebooks of a versatile experience that can either theme an entire campaign or shift into new and exotic ways to breathe new life into an ongoing one. The book is not simply a lore dump of words, places, and concepts, but rather a very functional expansion of the Ninth World as a setting, and even of the Cypher system as a game more broadly. Voices of the Data Sphere offers to existing and new Numenera games an expanded in-world vocabulary to roleplay with and describe the world, a set of new rules for virtually uploading, or data scribing as the book refers to it, characters into the Data Sphere, rules and guidelines for how to modify player appearance and behavior in the Data Sphere, rules for navigating the Data Sphere as a play space, predefined locations to use in an adventure, rules and a set of tables for generating your own places within the Data Sphere, ciphers and artifacts which may either work in or out of the data sphere, or both, vehicles for traveling the data sphere, creatures to populate data sphere locations with, and rules and guidelines for glitches and glimmers, as well as two new adventures. The book contains a lot of information that could easily be the basis for a significant chunk of a campaign, if not an entire one. What's more, and I'll expand on this at the end of the review, if one was willing to file off the Ninth World serial numbers of Numenera and boil down the rules to be more vanilla and adaptable, there's significant potential for this book to be combined with the Cypher System rulebook to create a cyberpunk or other adjacent science fiction setting that makes use of a virtual computer space for characters to load their consciousness into. While this is thoroughly a Numenera supplement, the offerings of this book point to opportunities beyond the Ninth World. Given the spirit of wild creativity that Numenera has always celebrated in its books, players and GMs will likely have explored digital spaces in their Ninth World games prior to the publication of Voices of the Data Sphere. I touched on this in the intro of the review, concerning how this may or may not create some friction for those players who have already charted such a space in their own games. Be that as it may, the rules for exploring the data sphere are quite thorough in this book and leave the reader well equipped for playing in and describing these spaces in a game. Built on a new set of vocabulary defined both in the text and through a glossary, there's a suite of new rules here for entering and leaving the data sphere, referred to as data scribing and real scribing, as well as considerations for things like distance, time, movement, and so on. 
The book doesn't leave too many things in the dark, but at the same time, these new mechanics don't tie the hands of GMs and players who would like to have an elevated level of freedom from the concept of something such as digitizing their characters and exploring limitless digital space. Rules considering vertices, frames, code breaking, brute force methods for getting through data barriers, and even a tweak to the might, speed, and intellect stat pools as we know them all provide an excellent and stable foundation to tell an interactive story. And the use of its new set of vocabulary really elevates these rules into a playful kind of language that immediately inspires the reader to start thinking of ways to implement these concepts into their games. In fact, and at the risk of spoiling some of the uniqueness of going into the data sphere, there are some mechanics concerning spatial navigation and particularly handling locked doors that could bleed out a bit into a regular Numenera game to provide a bit more mechanical crunch to tasks such as picking and bypassing locks. These rules are all best in their native environment, that of the data sphere, but it's a testament to the malleability of the cipher system more broadly that these frameworks can rise above the status of novelty and provide some great utility beyond the context in which it has been presented. For the most part, the rules are simple to get. That said, the book does lean in a bit into the conceptual and philosophical in ways that can be confusing at first. This is found in areas where the book defines, for example, frames, spaces within the data Atmosphere that can appear as rooms or single instances of a space as conceptual spaces and not actual ones, or how nodes can be themed with concepts like evolution or values. Credit is absolutely deserved for the potential beyond just a digital-themed version of Numenera. Concepts and rules that expand the potential for new behaviors in a game, saturated with the weird and avant-garde, are perfectly at home in this setting, but some of these can be a little strange to figure out how to work with on a first read. Fortunately, the framework of rules presented very clearly with tables and charts to use for inspiration or random results is straightforward enough. The mapping engine is also a welcome addition for those who want to go beyond the offered adventures, vertices, and nodes offered in the book. Mapping out routes in the data sphere is very similar to the process we've seen in supplements like Jade Colossus. Though in some ways to make full use of what's offered, one has to combine the tables and charts from various parts of the book. What's offered specifically in the data sphere root mapper section feels a little sparse, which is fine for generating a basic blueprint that one will go back to later to fill out with barriers and glitches, creatures and ciphers. Bookmarking sections of this supplement is an easy enough solution, as is building your own personal charts and tables for references based on the material here, but it would have been nice to have something a little bit more all-encompassing in a single section. Voices of the Data Sphere makes it clear that creatures and characters from the real world, or the real, can be data scribed into the data sphere with some adjustments to their appearance through the form of ideates and some tweaks to the mechanics of the cipher system. As such, the book could have been content with just advising players to take creatures from existing books and use those to populate frames and nodes. Fortunately, Voices of the Data Sphere offers 12 new creatures whose existence and function takes into account the new spatial concepts such as frames and nodes. There's a nice sampling of different levels and challenges, with most evening out around levels 3 to 5. The book also contains some considerations for previously established creatures that have already had some connection to the data sphere, and offers guidance on their appearance as well as how their behavior may change once data scribed. These creature rules prompt the GM to consider how the data sphere itself alters the dynamic of the game, offering new options and perspectives, such as the Pestilence, which will be able to use its greater knowledge of the data sphere as a super intelligence against the players. This pushes players to invest more time and energy into understanding the rules and lore of the data sphere as its own unique place and not just a typical Numenera or Cypher system game with a new skin. The new ciphers and artifacts may require a bit of reading ahead of time, more so than the typical introduction of new ciphers, as there are different uses depending on whether or not these are meant for use in the data sphere or the real. Fortunately, each cipher and artifact lists which space it is usable in, meaning that GMs and players should be able to catalog their function with greater ease. The vehicles are also a nice touch that expand the potential for different experiences 
in the data sphere. This speaks to the overall strength of the supplement as offering players to choose the way the data sphere can fit into their game based on what kinds of experiences they're looking for. In reading through the section on vehicles, though, I couldn't help but be inspired at the thought of kit bashing these new rules on frames and nodes with the community rules in Numenera Destiny and allowing players to have communities inside the data sphere or as extensions of their communities in the real. Voices of the Data Sphere describes entering the Data Sphere as a paradigm shift, which is a tall order. It may be easy to assume the book offers nothing more than some new mechanics, a mapping engine, equipment, and creatures in a very vanilla way. But this isn't the case. In introducing voices, this supplement challenges players and GMs to think of the potential of a fully digital play space where the mind can visualize and experience all sorts of new and unexpected phenomena. Voices are described as gods, kingdoms, organizations, religions, and encourage wildly spontaneous creativity in play spaces. The beauty here is that, since this is a digital play space, GMs who want to engage in world building without needing to make everything immediately make logical sense or flesh out every single facet of a world can explore broader concepts and ideas in ways that fit the native essence of the data sphere as part of the ninth world. This also allows GMs in a way to workshop settings and thematic concepts, which is both a nice exercise for GMs who want to take greater ownership of a published campaign setting or design their own. This bleeds into the meta a bit, but by introducing the concept of voices, there's a great way to think about what a campaign setting is in general and experiment in an actual game with what happens when a setting is centered on different concepts. And for those who find the constraints of the ninth world as a setting in the real world, there's license here to take a Numenera game into places it couldn't go before, if such a thing were even possible. The modularity of this supplement allows GMs who want to take the concept of a paradigm shift and run with it to limitless spaces, but it also allows anyone the option to make the data sphere a unique experience unto itself, and not just Numenera with a Tron skin, though that certainly is an option for those who are interested in playing with the kinds of established fictional elements that Voices of the Data Sphere is open about drawing its inspiration from. Voices of the Data Sphere comes with two adventures, The Knotted Node and Karna's Eternal Return. Both are decent introductions and examples of how the Data Sphere can factor into a Numenera game, with The Knotted Node demonstrating play within the data space and Karna's Eternal Return showing how the ways in which the phenomena of data space impacts real space. For my own preferences, I find Karna's Eternal Return to be a bit more interesting and to have some more meat on its bones. The Knotted Node gets many of the concepts such as frames, voices, and more moving, but I find that it probably could be best utilized by being stitched into an existing campaign or even stitched into Karna's Eternal Return itself. Viewing these as one-shots or introductory quests, though, is somewhat challenging considering that the goal of introducing the data sphere as a paradigm shift in a campaign can be delivered looted by showing these spaces to players in one-off adventures. Nonetheless, they're well written and good for anyone who wants to see these new game elements as a solid proof of concept. Voices of the Data Sphere is a solid addition to the already vibrant and wonderful setting of Numenera. Its mechanics are solid and easy to understand, if not a little confusing after an initial read. It addresses the ways that the data sphere will influence the mechanics of the game, as well as the narrative essence and thematic concepts at work. It rises above a book about how to come up with digitized dungeon crawls and asks players and GMs to consider the ways in which a digital space could open up opportunities otherwise impossible. Though the Ninth World is a blank page in a lot of ways, Voices of the Data Sphere gives you the information you need to fill that blank page in ways you might not have previously thought and gives license to experiment without much risk. For those looking to take their players into the data sphere and make the experience a mechanically and thematically unique change in their campaign, this is an essential book, and it is written, as always, with the same spirit of creativity and customizability that will allow creative GMs to take these basic concepts and build out material that will double or triple in scope.
While I have yet to consider whether or not my home Numenera campaigns will take players into the data sphere, reading this book has definitely changed my approach to running games. I now see the data sphere as a place that exists in parallel to where my players are, and as such, things may happen there that influence the real world and vice versa. It also has expanded my in-game vocabulary. While some may choose to lean more or less heavily into fictional language in a role-playing game, the use of vocabulary in Voices of the Data Sphere gives me more concrete ways to refer to it that elevates it beyond just more than a super powerful version of the internet. I'm excited about how the concepts of vertices, frames, and nodes could color and influence the narrative directions my players and I are taking our games into should these become relevant. I also find the concept of transcription through data scribing and real scribing to be something I was already trying to find terms and rules for. It's not so much about the literal words themselves as it is about the impact they have on the narrative. There are more concrete concepts to play with when it comes to thinking of the data sphere, and it's more fully realized and fleshed out than it used to be. For those who are looking for supplements that flesh out the different realms of the Ninth World, Voices of the Data Sphere is a pretty strong candidate to consider in anyone's Numenera collection, and it only adds to the versatility and dynamic fluidity that in many ways is exclusive to the Ninth World as a setting. Like many, I have been playing quite a bit of Cyberpunk 2077 lately. Its flaws have been well documented and much discussed since its complicated release in December of 2020. For its own sake, it's clearly a game that oscillates between having great concepts with poor execution and great execution on some poor concepts and this is on top of its technical issues that seem to keep cropping up. Overall, I'm not convinced that as a game it fully grasps the extent of what cyberpunk as a setting explores, and its on-rails treatment to jacking into the net really failed to deliver the kind of flexibility in gaming that I was hoping for. Nonetheless, it's a setting and a genre I enjoy, both aesthetically and for the exploration of the themes it plays with. This has inspired in me the thought of running a cyberpunk tabletop game, but it wasn't until I read Voices of the Data Sphere that I started to think of ways to actually plan this out. While I could simply run the actual tabletop game, or turn to something like Shadowrun, jumping into a new system can be challenging, and given the ways in which I find the Cypher system to already be so versatile and customizable, and easy to write games for, I have a clear bias. And there are also so many hours in a week, and digesting new systems and books requires setting time aside. One of the things that struck me the most in Voices of the Data Sphere were its implications to be a setting unto itself. This is clearly a Ninth World supplement, especially with the vocabulary it uses and its reliance on skill sets such as understanding Numenera. That said, by simply ignoring this or swapping it out for something else that provides the same function without its ties to the Ninth World, Voices of the Data Sphere can be an excellent supplement to the Cypher System rulebook and provide the foundation for a fully realized cyberpunk setting that allows one the ability to run the net, jack in, upload their consciousness or whatever flavor they like. I've often been very partial to cyberpunk stories. The aesthetic is of course very attractive, but I've found its substance and the subject matter in fictional works like Ghost in the Shell, Deus Ex, The Matrix, Neuromancer, and even Cyberpunk 2077 from time to time to really be thought-provoking, especially when it starts to run adjacent to the multitude of real-world events and themes that prompt us to think about where human society is headed, or where it currently is. It's a loaded genre that often stumbles into problematic areas and frequently has its themes misunderstood or at worst, ignored. The RPG player in me desires to explore this genre at the table and Voices of the Data Sphere has prompted me to consider how I might adapt something like Ghost in the Shell, The Matrix, or other existing intellectual property into a cipher system game for home use, or possibly my own take on the genre altogether. This channel is focused on Numenera, a game that is my favorite RPG running on my favorite system. That said, the channel is very young, brand new even, and as I dive into the ways in which I see Voices of the Data Sphere as a Cypher system supplement, I will likely publish my findings here. Running two Numenera home games and starting this channel, however, does take up a considerable amount of time, so progress on that will likely be very slow. My intention in ending this review with this parting thought, though, is as a testament to the way in which 
which voices of the data sphere can act as a source of wild inspiration for Numenera and the way in which the cipher system is just so wonderfully dynamic.